Hi, I'm Minda Tracy from my online training hub. In this video, we're going to look at how we can insert a slicer that filters our pivot table and pivot chart for the fiscal year. Now there's no built-in functionality in Excel that allows us to automatically group our data by fiscal year. So what we have to do is create our own fiscal year field in our source data. Now my data here is formatted in an Excel table and I've given it a name, table stocks. It's just some trading volume for some shares and my dates are formatted day, month, year because that's what we do in Australia. So what I'm going to do is insert a formula in column C to look up the date in column A in my table over here called table fiscal year and return the fiscal period for that date. Now you'll notice that I only have the first date of each month and that's because we're going to look up an approximate match for this date using VLOOKUP. So let's take a look at how that works. VLOOKUP, the date in my table over here and I want to return the value from the second column in my table which is column F and then the last argument for VLOOKUP is true or false. So if we choose true, we're going to return an approximate match. Now we're going to need that because we don't have every date from column A represented in our lookup table. And I'll select true and then close my brackets. So now I have my fiscal year populated. Now I've based my fiscal year or fiscal period on our Australian financial year, which runs from July 1 through to June 30. So all of these dates up to the end of June are 2013-14 and after that 2014-15. So you can create your own fiscal period lookup table based on your fiscal years or fiscal periods, whatever you want to report on, whether they're quarters or um, annually, and then populate your fiscal year column in your pivot table source data using the VLOOKUP with the approximate match function at the end or argument at the end. So now that you've got this fiscal year data in your source, you can go ahead and use it in your report to create a slicer. And you'll notice that I actually haven't got the fiscal year field in my pivot table or my pivot chart. I'm simply using it for a slicer so that I can filter based on those groupings. Okay, so there you have fiscal years for slices in Excel. If you like this video, please take a moment to give it the thumbs up or leave a comment below or both. And be sure to sign up to our weekly Excel newsletters so you can learn more tips and tricks about Excel to help you stand out from the crowd and make your job easier so you can go home early. Thanks for watching. So what we have to do is to create the